Hi guys, it's Emily and in this video I'm going to be going over how to solve a problem that involves the intersection of a line and a plane. So in this problem that I have, I have line DE and it's going through plane GHI. So I'm giving two views of this um, line and plane. So I'm giving the frontal view and the profile view. So I'm just drawing a line, folding line, and noting P for profile plane and H for, or sorry, F for frontal plane. Um, and so the first part of this question asks to find the piercing point of line DE and plane GHI. Um, so the first step in finding this piercing point is to locate the intersection between the line and the sides of the plane in one of the views. So it doesn't matter which view you choose. Um, I'm going to choose to start in my frontal plane. So if I'm locating the intersection, um, I see I have an intersection here and I have an intersection here. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, make extension lines from these intersections. So I'm making an extension line and this extension line is going to be perpendicular to my folding line. And I'm extending this line into my other view. So I just extended it to an arbitrary length, um, but it's going through both my plane and my line in my profile plane. So I'm going to label this extension line, extension line one. And so we note that extension line one from our um, frontal view, it touches well, it's on, it's located on line GH of our plane, and it's also located, of course, on our line DE. So we can see that, or what we want to do actually is we want to locate the position of this, ex or we want to locate the position of the extension line on line uh, GH in our profile view. So that's here, where I just made a little dot. So I'm going to write the number one with a little tick mark, it's one prime. You can just write one, doesn't matter. We just want to keep track of our extension lines. Okay, so that's the first step. Um, since we have two of those intersections, um, we can see you know, also in our frontal plane, line DE also intersects with the uh, line of GI in our plane. So I'm just going to make, again, another horizontal extension line. It's perpendicular with my FP fold line. And I'm extending this into my profile plane. Okay, and so I can see that um, this extension line, I'm going to name it two. Extension line two um, sits on, you know, line GI. So in our profile plane, we see that our point two is going to go here because it's that's where it intersects with line GI. Okay, uh, two prime. Okay, and then the next step is to connect. 1 prime and 2 prime. So once I've connected those two points, um, we can see that they intersect with our line DE in our profile plane. And what we've just found is our piercing point. So that point of intersection is our piercing point. So I'm just going to make a little dot and name it our piercing point. And so 
Next, we need to locate this piercing point in our frontal plane. So all we will do is just make an extension line that's perpendicular to our fold line until it hits or until it reaches our line DE in our frontal plane. And we've got our piercing point. Okay, so now we've completed part one of our question. We found the piercing point. Uh, part two asks us to illustrate the visibility of the intersection. So this is quite easy. Um, we're going to use our extension lines that we made to um, figure this out. So I'm just going to use my highlighter. Uh, I guess I'll use purple. Okay, so if we want to figure out the visibility of our line and plane in our frontal view, what we're going to do is we are going to trace over our extension line where um, our line sort of visibly intersects with the edge of the plane. So we're going to work with extension line one, essentially. So if I start to make a highlighted line and I follow my extension line, we want to see uh, where this extension line hits first. So as we're making the extension line, we see that we hit the, the edge of the plane, so HG first. We don't hit the line, so if we kept going, we would hit the line eventually here. But since we hit the line of our plane first, that means in our frontal plane, the plane is on top. Okay, so what that means is that if we draw our if we draw our plane just as a little sketch here, and this is our frontal plane, we have our line D E. I'm just gonna draw it uh, as an orange line. So if the plane is on top, um, like above this portion here um, if it's above because you know we have our piercing point that's where the line is puncturing through the plane that means that the line would look something like this so the plane we can see that the plane is on top here and then if we draw in the hidden part of our line going through then um, then that's exactly what the visibility of the line and plane look like in the front view. Okay, so if we check that with our second extension line, what we can do is we're just going to do the same thing. So extension line two, we locate the intersection of our line and our plane. And if we start to make our line, our extension line, we see that we hit our line DE first instead of the edge of the plane. If we kept going, we would hit the edge of the plane. But since we hit the line first, that means in our frontal plane, the line DE is on top after this, after the piercing point. Okay, and we can see in our little sketch um, we have a visible line. We don't have a dotted line. So that's how you figure out the visibility in that view. And the steps are the same. So I'm just going to, excuse me, I'm just going to draw in our hidden line up until I hit, up until I reach my piercing point. Okay. And then similarly, uh, we are going to to figure out the visibility of our line and plane in our profile view. We are going to make extension lines um, where where the line and plane intersect. So actually, I'm going to use another color. 
and screen. So if we locate the intersections of our line and our plane and our profile view, and it's here and here, and if we make our extension lines, we can make our extension lines and they're perpendicular to our fold line. We can see that my extension line is hitting, it's going to hit our, it's going to hit our line first instead of line HG because HG in our frontal plane is here, but we hit the, we hit the line DE first. So that means that line DE is on top. So if we draw a little sketch again, so of this view of our plane, and we determined that line DE is on top, um, like before the piercing point. Um, so that means that the line, it's striking the plane until this point here, and then it's coming through out there. Okay, so we figured out the top part visibility and to check ourselves, we're just going to um, look at our second intersection point in our profile view where our line and plane intersect and we're going to make an extension line and we can see that as we make our extension line I'm just extend I extended it further than I need to um, but we can see that this point is on line HI and our line DE so after I'm extended you know the line from that point um, we can see that we hit uh, we hit line HI first okay so I'm just gonna oops I'm just gonna redraw that so we can see that we hit line HI first and then we'd hit we'd eventually hit our line DE here. So that means since we hit our edge of the plane first from HI, that means that the plane is on top um, after, after the piercing point in our profile plane. So if the plane is on top, that means that the line DE is hidden up until that piercing point. Okay, so we draw in our we draw in our hidden line. And of course, after the plane, it's just a visible line. Okay, and so that's it. We completed um, part two of our question. I hope this helped. Um, I'm just going to erase all of this work. You know, you can just go back and replay the video if you need help figuring it out. But um, essentially, I just want to show you like what we found. Um, so if I erase this, we can see. We can see the visibility, we can see like the dotted line that represents the hidden portion of the line in the plane, or in this case, just the line. Okay, so pretty much erased, oops, erased everything. And there we go. That's basically the answer. If you're drawing this, um, you know, you don't have to erase your work. I just did this for better visibility. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching.